When we use the function like call and delegate call, we encode the data into bytes. In this video, I'll show you how to decode bytes back into data. We'll write two functions, a function to encode and a function to decode. For the function to encode, we'll pass in some data types. It will ABI encode the data and return some bytes. We'll take this bytes that's been encoded and feed it into the function decode. Inside here, we'll decode bytes back into data and then return these data. First, let's write the function to encode. We'll encode the data uint, I'll name it x, and an address, address addr, and an array of uint, uint bracket, call data, I'll call it r, and we'll also encode a struct. So I'll define a struct, name it my struct, for the struct, let's put in a string. I'll say string and I'll name it name. And the uint fix size array, I'll say uint bracket. We'll fix the size to two and I'll name it nums. We'll pass the struct that we just defined as input. So I'll say my struct call data my struct. We'll ABI encode all of these data and then return it as bytes. So I'll type return abi dot encode the first parameter x address the array r and my struct let's now write the function for decode once we encode the data to bytes how do we decode the bytes back into data after we decode the bytes back into data we'll return it so we'll match these inputs the first output will be u into x the second output will be address addr the third output will be a uint array, I'll name it r. And the last output will be my struct, and I'll name it my struct. uint array is a memory, so I'll declare it as memory. And likewise for my struct, I'll declare it as memory. Okay, let's now decode bytes back into these data. To decode bytes back into these data, we'll need to use the function called abi.decode and then pass in the data. And the next input to this function is a list of data types that we're going to be decoding to. This data over here, we encode it as uint address, an array of uint and my struct. So we'll type here uint address, an array of uint and my struct. The function abi decode will decode the data into these data type and return it. So we assign the outputs from the function decode to these variables by typing parentheses is equal to. The first output is a uint and we assign it to the variable x. The second output is an address. We assign it to a ddr. The third output we assign it to the array r. And the last output we assign it to my struct. Since we declared our variables inside the return statement, so inside these parentheses, we don't have to explicitly return these variables. Okay, so let's deploy this contract and I'll show you how to encode the data and then decode it. I'll deploy the contract ABI decode. And first we'll encode the data. Pass in one for the address, I'll paste this address. For the array, I'll pass in three, four, five. And for the struct, the struct takes two parameters, a string of name, and a fixed unit array of size two. So here we'll type brackets, and inside the bracket, the first parameter is a string. So I'll say solidity. The second input will be a uint of size two. So I'll pass in seven and nine, and then call encode. We get some data back, and this is the data that we'll have to pass into our function decode. So we'll pass it in and then call decode and we get the data types back. uint x is equal to one address is the address that we copied from above. The array of uint 345 and the struct it returns my struct. It doesn't show that we passed the name solidity. It was able to parse the numbers seven and nine that we passed over here and you can see it over here. 